Good morning everyone, Brian here with BMK Retro Gaming. This morning I have a review for you guys of the Atari VCS 2600 original library game, Yars Revenge. Now it was developed and published by Atari in 1982, with Howard Scott Warsaw being the lead developer. And, um, well, um, it turned out to be one of the, despite, um, some reception from, uh, how do you say, video game reviewers and critics having some doubts, it turned out to be pretty popular. It was a good seller for Atari. Um, in the game, basically, you are a yar, which is a combination of a human mutated housefly, in a way, and you are trying to fend off to get revenge on um, the Quotile, f both for having destroyed one of the four planets your species has colonized, and um, in order to stop the stop it from trying to. Um, Get the other three, I guess. Um, let me see. I do have my uh, loose copy. Go. It's got a... Um, still got a sticker from... The uh, game exchange retailer where I bought on it, but oh well. But it's pretty nice. Uh, let's see, it says 1981 Atari here, which. Well, it shouldn't come out until 1982. But oh well. The um, game originally also came with a. Um, Well, of course, there was a box of manual. There was also, I forget what it was called, but there was also a comic explaining the story, but I don't have anything more than loose copy, so. Anyway, oh, I'm going to go ahead and throw this into the my Hypergame Retron 77, and we're going to take a look at some gameplay. Okay. Going to set for game zero the easiest one. Uh, 
I think it has about seven or eight game modes, typically. Okay, so your does look a lot like a fly that, um, Okay, let's reset. My controller was get, being finicky. The yard does look generally like a fly. Uh, it's representative for that. You can shoot from afar. Not doing that. Which is, uh, the red part is basically a shield for the, uh, quotile, or quoto, however you say it. That little, uh, dash coming at me is a, uh, Apparently, uh, missile that he is, uh, determined to fire at me as, uh, guided missile. And the, uh, rainbow colored thing in the center is your, uh, it's your neutral zone. Uh, nothing's going to get you in there. Well, the, uh, that big red swirl can get you in there, but, uh, that's if it hits you. Okay, then you touch Yar to go ahead and get your missile coming down. Your own missile, and the Yar apparently um, did not design a uh, They were attacked by the Quotile apparently before they were able to give this uh, their own guided missiles, their own guidance system, so the YAR turns out to be how you guide it to your target. And then you have to get out of the way real quick. Of course, once you got enough of the um, portal shield gone, you can finally start to have a chance of getting a dark attack. Oh, and hitting the swirl like that usually will get you an extra life. I think you start with about four or five lives, uh, typically, I forget. It's just uh, use the joystick to move and. Uh, Use your fire button to fire. Uh, of course, the yard can eat through the shields of the uh, portal too, because um, the well, the yard has evolved to be able to eat through pretty much anything. Is, as advertised, a pretty simple, easy game mode, but... The Quoto uh, kind of looks like, uh, I guess you could say, some type of uh, skeleton? Ooh, two lives left.
Oh. Well, give me one more go before I give it up. I don't even manage to do that part. I found that a uh, good strategy in this, while that guided missile of the uh, Quogel is uh, still uh, closer to him and on the other side of your neutral zone, seems to make more sense to um, to go out uh, to shoot from a distance. Guiding missile, well, oops, and you gotta be careful not to do that. You can kill yourself. to go. Okay. I think you guys get the idea of the gameplay. Okay, so that was Yars Revenge from um, a 1982 Atari VCS 2600 original library game by Howard Scott Warsaw from Atari themselves. And um, it's a good game. Um, too bad I, um, for some reason, just couldn't get going and show a bit better gameplay, but that's how it goes sometimes. Anyway, my preferred YouTubers uh, Phil with his channel, The No Square Gamer. Uh, Hi Retro Game Lord, Chris with his channel the the Atari Creep, Brian Puddin with his channel Brian's Man Cave, Oswald Harros, and um, uh, Oswaldo Harros, and um, Paul McCormick with his channel uh, Paul McCormick's Video Games and More. Uh, all have. Uh, nice videos featuring this particular game, so I will leave links to those. And I will uh, leave a link to the Wikipedia article for you guys, just in case you care to read up on it further. Uh, if you enjoy my channel's content, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, please leave any questions, comments, or suggestions in the comments section below. You guys take care, have a good morning, and I will see you again in my next video.